Give you the uh, top local stories of the day. It's day two now in the trial in downtown Louisville. The man accused of hitting a Kansas family with his car. They were on a sidewalk in downtown Louisville over two years ago, and their father was killed in that crash. Police say Michael Hurley admitted to taking hydrocodone before hitting the Jones family in July of 2022. They were in town for a basketball tournament. Jose Alonzo was in the courtroom today where they revealed new evidence. He's live now from the Jefferson County Courthouse. Jose, what can you tell us? Connie, Doug, what we did here today for the first time, we heard from a member of the Jones family, the father of Trey Jones, along with a witness to the collision and several LMPD officers took to the stand to share what they experienced just over two years ago. Did Hunter actually have to sign the paperwork to take him off life support? And did you counsel and advise him that? Yeah, he should grow up a lot real fast. A heartbreaking decision made by a father and grandson after a Kansas family was hit by a car in downtown Louisville on July 5th, 2022. There was a black pickup truck that had kind of pulled up a little bit. So when the um, when his car actually hit them, I saw more like the bodies flying above the truck. Also on the stand, Deborah Johnson recalled the shocking scene she witnessed that evening. She testified she saw Hurley drive into the Jones family and quickly ran to help the mother, Amy. So I happened to be closest to um, Amy, and so I just kind of knelt down by her and just put my hand on her back and just was trying to talk to her. Prosecutors also called on Louisville Metro police officers who were at the scene. They were questioned on Hurley's behavior as the situation unfolded and video from their body cameras was shown to the jury. Doing spontaneous utterance. Uh, he was just making no sense. He was just saying things out of nowhere. I want to say he was struggling to keep his eyes open. During the first day of testimony, prosecutors revealed Hurley had a fatal dose of fentanyl in his system. Officers spoke about their experience with him that day. Due to my experience, it's a common theme, his reactions that he was showing, that he was under the influence of some type of substance that was not alcohol. Hurley's defense attorneys pushing back with questions about his behavior. People who are going through PTSD or some kind of trauma, they also act where they just kind of shut down, right? Correct. Prosecutors will continue their case on Thursday. And as you just heard, they're going to be continuing that tomorrow morning at 8.30. Today's trial ended around 3.30 today. Reporting live in Louisville with photojournalist Jessica Farley, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side. All right, Jose, thank you. The mother and daughter who were also hurt in the crash are expected to take the witness stand tomorrow.